Hello guys, Jacob here, welcome to Polish Nerf. As you can see, I've got a package. So the story goes, some guy was selling a few lots of Nerf blasters. They are supposed to be broken. I decided to get this lot because uh, it contains Hyperfire and Strife. Underneath there is Alpha Trooper. Uh, in totality, six blasters. I hope I can fix uh, the Alpha Trooper, Rough Cat and those two strong arms uh, and sell them away. Hyperfire and Strife are staying with me. Definitely is my fir first Hyperfire and actually I wanted the Hyperfire. Uh, so yeah, it definitely stays with me. Uh, but yeah, I'll sell the rest. Hopefully I'll get my money back. So this deal uh, will balance out to uh, zero and uh, we'll see. Uh, also with the guns I get uh, two six dart max i can easily sell them too so uh that's some added value and there is of course the original uh mag for the uh hyper fire so that's a very good uh news also there are some darts in various state of decay but uh yeah some are usable so i can throw them uh to the uh, deals. Uh, it's usually a good idea uh, when I want to sell something uh, just to add some um, darts because yeah I won't use elites they are terrible <laughs> as you may know and uh, yeah so I decided to make this video just to show off my uh, new uh, additions to collection and also I wanted to maybe go through the blasters with you and maybe try to uh, at least uh, check them out and uh, figure out if they are uh, fixable. So uh, let's go! Spoiler alert, I don't want to waste too much time. Uh, this drive is absolutely okay. I think the issue is when some people are returning the nerf blasters in Poland, they're thinking the blasters are jamming and actually if you pay a lot of for for this strife for example this is the original strife package as you can see it cost 129 as what is a 99 groše uh, it translates to about 40 dollars let's say so if you'd pay 40 dollars for a strife and it wouldn't perform I think you'd be uh, quite disappoint disappointed, so uh, rather than uh, buy some new darts, people are just returning them uh, to shops. Good news for me, actually. So this will be my uh, black and pink uh, strife. I, I, I won't spoil uh, what I'm planning to do. Uh, I'm waiting for parts to uh, make the auto strife kit. I decided to uh, make one, maybe uh, we will uh, figure something cool with electronics to actually make it fire with different speeds or something like that. Never mind. So the strife is a okay. The hyper fire again. I have no idea why someone uh, returned it. It seems okay. Uh, the uh, trigger itself seems fiddly. Uh, I don't know why it's kind of locking in the back position. If you are, um, yeah, if you are not too delicate with it, but it's it works good. I checked it. I will show you in a minute how it runs, but. I think it runs okay, it runs as it should. I was uh, certainly worried about only one part, that uh, someone destroyed the uh, belt, uh, the conveyor belt <laughs> system, because uh, I think nobody uh, produces them, so the, the part is not uh, easily replaceable. But the belt is okay, rest is fine too. I think I will open it in uh, uh, later after I finish recording and put MOSFETs in and prepare it to be powered with lipos or something. Li ions, sorry, Li ions. 
I don't use LiPos. So yeah, Hyperfire again, okay. It came with original uh, mug. I, I have no idea why someone returned it. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, Alpha Trooper. Oh, just look at it. It's jammed. So yeah, it's usual for Alpha Troopers to be jammed. I think it's just a case of unscrewing it and uh, taking out locks wherever it's uh, needed so it won't jam again. I think I can sell it for 30, 40 wattis even. So uh, that's a good money. I paid uh, somewhat over 100 wattis for whole lot around 40 uh, dollars so actually if I can sell this for 10 dollars let's say uh, that would be uh, good rough cut unfortunately it's uh, jammed too but uh, in the worst possible position because it's still primed so actually I'm worried that if it was lying uh, too long on the shelf it may have uh, messed up uh, the springs may have uh, forgot how to be springs we'll see I think this fix will be easy too it's just something with the trigger system and the worst issue in my opinion, I have no idea what happened here, but they just don't catch with the uh, plunger mechanism. So uh, the this uh, slide, <laughs> it's called slide. Yeah, this slide is totally un, uh, totally detached uh, from the uh, plunger rod. Uh, the second one is this bad too. I hope I can get them fixed. I can sell them for 20 watts each, so that would be another good uh, amount of money. So I hope those uh, uh, two, Rough Cut and Alpha Trooper, I can sell for around 30 watts. Uh, these I can sell for 20, and I will be happy about the, the, the deal because that would mean I paid 20 zlotys uh, for Strife and Hyperfire that would amount to around 6 or 7 dollars also I got these darts to add somewhere and two small 6 round mags I don't really use so I can sell them too 15 zlotys each cool Okay, so I think let's uh, unscrew the rough cut and alf trooper and be done with this video. Do, 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 do. So I think it's fixed now. <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought I fixed it just by itself, let's say, but I reloaded it now and as you can see, it doesn't shoot again. So. Uh, I think the issue is in the trigger. Uh, maybe I won't be able to fix it today. We'll see. I don't know what I've done, but it's uh, fixed now. So the issue was, you see, the uh, trigger mechanism is relying on this uh, white block thingy here. And actually, when you are priming the blaster, uh, let me trigger it first. When you prime it, uh, the uh, the white block actually moves uh, to the back first, so you can trigger uh, the mechanism itself. But then, when you are when you move the prime handle to the uh, front, oh, it's the prime itself, but that's not a problem. Uh, when you move it to the front, it resets, so it's again uh, in the forward position and. You can shoot it. So uh, we'll see now if it's fixed. It seemed a little bit of poking into the mechanism worked well and it's now working as smooth as it should. So uh, let's see how about the air restrictors. I'm using uh, 
the best darts I could find in the box. <laughs> uh, actually, quite a lot of them are in still quite good condition, so we will see about the state of the air restrictor. Hopefully, I don't have to clean it because that was kind of pain in the butt. Two, one, and something. Uh, not good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so we'll need to clean them, but that's another issue for another day. But yeah, the worst part, it still catches like it should. So hopefully it will still stay that way and I will be able to sell it with a profit. Nice. Let's see how about the Alpha Trooper and let's finish this video because it's getting late. Okay, so I'm finishing unscrewing the last screws and uh, I forgot to mention, uh, I really like the rough cut because out of box, the, it's just good blaster. To be honest, with uh, that complicated internals, it's a little hard to do anything when something goes soft, but uh, at the same time uh, it's quite a robust blaster and to be honest it's rarely um, FUBAR, let's say. Uh, but yeah, let's see about this Alpha Trooper. I like the looks of Alpha Troopers, but the performance usually is just not there. The one I had before it was total mess. I figure out with better spring it could have been better, but at the same time I haven't had a spring at that time. Uh, we'll see. I think it's just... Haha! Uh... <laughs> I love it. Um, it's just the issue of a uh, lock down here. Yeah, the lock I'm talking about is this one, you see? Uh, so we can just get rid of it, because uh, it will cause only problems, to be honest. Only problems. You see, the, the blaster is actually able to catch on its own with no problem but it just doesn't let you move forward I don't know why yeah, I don't care hopefully someone won't mind this because uh, actually without that look I think uh, the pump grip will just let's say float uh, it may be annoying for someone. I don't know. Uh, let's turn it. <laughs> so we need that out. We need that out for just a second. We need this out. Goodbye, Mr. Lock. We are done here. I think now it can move forward with no problem. Uh, let's install the trigger back as it should be. Yeah, I forgot how it was here. I have really bad memory. Something like that. Something like that, yeah. Great. Uh, this thing, <laughs> don't forget this thing. Never forget this thing. Um, I'll put a few screws in and we'll check if it shoots okay and if it should, we'll call it a day. Hmm. That was easy and actually 
Alpha Troopers are semi-rare in Poland, so I think I will be able to get at least 50 swatches for it, actually. I'll throw in some more darts and a mag or something. Someone should buy it. Oh, freaking screw, I thought something's wrong. <laughs> Okay. I don't know what you are seeing actually because the camera is here and my head is here. Let's see! I don't know who designed this blaster, but he just didn't do a good job. It's just not catching properly from the uh, factory. It's the second one I've opened in my life and it's the second one that uh, definitely needed this thing removed. I think I will wrap it up here because... Uh, yeah, I don't have mood for anything more. The strong arms seem challenging. I have never seen them messed up in such way. They are, but at least the uh, revolving mechanism is okay. So uh, hopefully those will be fixable and they are broken in the same way. So if I fix one, I'll definitely fix the second one. Alpha Trooper. Uh, it's okay now, I think uh, it was the only issue and it was 100% what I thought it will be. It will be this lock, which is just... It's terrible. Uh, I don't know, as for rough cut, I think it's an easy uh, sailing from, from here because all I need to do is to clean out the air restrictors, so I'll unscrew this and... I'll just put some uh, alcohol through, uh, dry it, and it should be as new. Um, it's kind of dirty, I hope it will be fixable too. So uh, it seems some kid was running around uh, with that in his garden and uh, not really paying attention when he, where he's um, putting it. So maybe all the issues uh, that happened were because of some kind of dirt that got stuck to uh, the uh, uh, grease inside, at least here. And here, um, those air canals are just tiny, so they plug quite easily. But yeah, uh, that's all for this uh, video. I hope it didn't turn out too long. I don't know. I, I think I'm talking for an hour. <laughs> I, 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 I have a problem with making too long videos. Uh, so yeah, have a nice day and see you next time. Bye.